All right, guys, so I was browsing around the internet the other day and trying to find some information on some new G-Shock watches that are coming up. And I came across this website, Kawashima.org. So yeah, this is their new product information page for February of 2021. And Kawashima is actually a shop in Japan that sells a whole bunch of Casio G-Shocks and G-Shock watches. Unfortunately, they do not ship overseas, which is a big shame. But nonetheless, they have some cool information on here. So this is the new product page for February 2021. And if we scroll down a little bit here, it looks like we're getting some, some new G-Shocks. Here's a G-Shock Fire Package, which appears to be a blue and black motif. And this is the AWG M100. And then we've got the GW2310. And then it actually looks like we have what's called the City Camouflage Series coming up, which I'm not really too fond of, but it looks like there's kind of an interesting camouflage pattern on the 5600 and the GAW100. And if we keep scrolling down this page, we'll come across the new G-Shock metal covered lineup. And this looks to be like a gold and white or gold and transparent motif. So here we have a GM6900. And then it looks like we've got another 5600 and a GM110. And then what I came for was this Casio G-Shock Skeleton Series. So it looks like we've got a new Skeleton Transparency lineup coming up, which I'm a big fan of. I actually like the transparent watches a lot. So this one here, we've got the DW5600 with a completely blacked out face and a negative display with a clear band and a clear bezel, which is really cool looking. And then we've got a, a GA700 right below that in the same motif. And then what I came for down below here is the Casio G-Shock GA2100 with a clear bezel and a clear band, which looks super cool. I can't click on it, but let me see if I can blow this up a little bit. So it looks like we've got a black case with a transparent bezel and a transparent band. And it looks like we've got a little bit of a new dial here. It's kind of blacked out with black indices, but we do have white hands and uh, the negative display in the bottom right, so that's actually pretty cool. Um, yeah, so I think this is gonna look really sharp in person. You've got the black G-Shock lettering on the outside of the bezel, and I just think it's a really interesting look. It's really sharp looking. I think it's gonna be fun to check out. You could probably even swap out the clear bezel and band if you're not into it with something else. Maybe just use that uh, case and module and another band or bracelet or, or new bezel. And then if we keep scrolling down here, we've got the GA110. Uh, then we've got the GA2000 that appear to kind of have like a smoky transparency. And then this cool new GA900 as well with a negative display. And then of course we have this Pikachu model down here, which I think might actually be released already. I could be wrong. But nonetheless, this website, Kawashima.org, is actually super cool. They have tons of G-Shocks to check out. Again, it's really a shame they don't ship to the U.S., but if you... Look over here to the left, we've got these four red buttons. We've got G-Shock White, G-Shock Black, G-Shock Black and Gold, and I think G-Shock Metal. So let's head over to the G-Shock White. So here's where you can kind of scroll through and just find all the different G-Shocks that have a white motif, which is actually pretty cool. So if we scroll down here for a little bit, for example, you can see, let's click on the G001, which I actually haven't seen before, but this one looks pretty cool. Uh, nonetheless, you have a full description, and even their out-of-stock products are listed, which is great. So if you find something you like, you can always look it up on eBay. Uh, but then if you click the plus sign, uh, you can get these super high-quality photos. And you can pretty much see the watch in every single angle, which honestly I think is fantastic. Anyway, yeah, if we come back to the product page, again, you've got the high-quality photos over here. And then you've got a good description on the right. Uh, and then uh, if you scroll down, it, it looks like pretty much every single watch they have has a video, which is, again, fantastic. So you don't have to go around hunting online to get different videos if you want to check out the watch. But they usually put them on a turntable and give you a full view of, you know, pretty much every angle of the watch. Which can be kind of hard to come by sometimes if you're hunting around on YouTube. But yeah, if you scroll down a little bit more, you have the the full specs so this one is what 48 millimeters by 51 so yeah if you come back up here and you click on G-Shock Black for instance you can kind of browse all of the black G-Shocks so again they pretty much have 
anything you're looking for here with full descriptions, full specs, all categorized with different themes. So I remember the other day I was looking for white G-Shocks and it took me a while to kind of browse around the net looking for them. But yeah, they have them all here categorized and I think it's really great. And if we come over here to the G-Shock Metal, these are all the ones that have either metal uh, bracelets or metal bezels, which is pretty great. So yeah, I thought some of you guys might be interested in checking out this website, kawashima.org. I had a lot of fun browsing around and checking things out. And they also list out some Casio ProTrack watches, uh, Casio Oceanus, and they've got a whole Wave Scepter page here too to check out uh, all the models that they have in stock for Wave Scepter. So it really is a great reference point if you're looking to find some G-Shocks or if you're just looking to browse around and just to get some ideas on what you want to buy or what to check out. So it's pretty interesting to come here and see what they have. Anyway, I just wanted to give you a heads up. Hopefully we'll see that new transparent uh, G-Shock GA2100 coming up in February. I think that'll be pretty interesting to check out. I'll definitely pick that one up and do a review on it. So I'll leave a link in the description down below. Please check it out. Please leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to Watching Casio. Uh, come back soon for more watch reviews and we'll catch you later.